So we went out, we got to the first squad. They had a couple of KIAs. We had called it a medevac. Mm -hmm. We got them in the chopper, and it was an open field, and we could see off in the distance where, you know, the firefight was going on. <clears throat> and it turned out there were two Marines in Max squad who were in this thicket that were pinned down. And it turned out that the NVA were in fighting holes. They'd pop up, they'd shoot these two guys, they'd scream. They'd so a fighting hole is literally a hole. Hole in the ground, ground. connected to tunnels, yeah. what they had, <clears throat> you know. Uh, and they had this probably who knows how for years in this area, you know. But they, every once in a while, you know, they'd pop up and shoot these two Marines, knowing that we'd come to get them. So you were with Mac at that time? Well, it was, I went Mac and then myself and then Tony Camacho. He was the machine gun squad leader on a platoon. We probably shouldn't have done this, all three squad leaders, you know, going out. There, but you know, and then there was another Marine behind Tony. So we got, you know, we kneeled down in this narrow trail and get down. We looked off into the distance, you know, not distance, it was like 10 feet. We could see them there. And Max stopped, turned around, and said, Well, you know, we're going to try to do this and drag them out. We got up and took about two steps, and I go flying through the air. Mac, I think he got spun around and his face was green. I'll never forget as long as I live. He, he fell back. My rifle went flying. I got shot in my leg. And we wound up, for somehow, God was there. We were in this trench. And he was in front of me. I was behind him. And then the other two guys behind me, I don't know what, what they were doing, but I'm laying in a trench, and I can't find my rifle, and I'm trying to look up and all of a sudden, you know, like the grass is being cut down over my head. They're popping out of the fighting holes again and trying to, you know, hit us. With? With their rifles, with their, you know. Guns. With their guns. Right. So, you know, I don't know how long this happened. I kept trying to get up and finally, Tony Camacho was able to get to me and he put a battle dressing on my leg. And then all of a sudden I started bleeding out of the side of my face and he goes, oh, what the hell do you do, you know? And so all of a sudden, you know, how this guy never was shot, I just can't imagine. 